Um, man, let's get up before we get up out of here, man. Um, Antoine, when somebody tells, oh man, it is one more thing I wanted to do. I might, I might, I don't know, I might, I might save it. Um, all right, so Antoine, when someone tell, when someone says, um, hey, I'm out, to, I'm, I'm, I'm marrying up. Now, and congratulations, by the way, you're newlywed, right? Thank you, I appreciate you. Um, I, I'm, 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 I'm about fourteen years, maybe thirteen years in, something like that. I don't forgot. That's good. I've, 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 been, I've been my wife since two thousand three. We, we got married in 2010. Mm. Um, no, I'm so, yeah, 2010, right? It is 2010. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And, you know, marriage is very, you're going you're gonna to learn, my brother, that marriage is very, um, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful concept, but it can, it can be a little trying because you know we got two people coming from two different planets mm-hmm. so you'll find that out um but you but you but your but your demeanor lets me know that you 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 know how to move in that space i i, I believe I, I see longevity in your future i appreciate it yeah no problem um but i heard someone i was why i'm a big fan of amazing race i'm a big fan i love that show so I've been I've been playing I've been watching all the all of the episodes and I heard somebody say that they married up, right? <laughs> now here's the thing about this these two, it was a, it was a white it was a white guy, and it was a black woman, right? And in this particular scene they were like it was the, it was an activity where they were just counting money, right? And she says, "Man, I'm glad I married up." I didn't know how to take that, Antoine. I didn't know oh, how to take shit. that, man. I, I, I oh. did. I didn't know how to take that, man. <laughs> you know, you know, trip, trip. No, I, I, when I watch these shows, man, I, I root for everything black. Yeah. So when they off the rip when they came through i was it was very tough for me to, to, to root for them but you know what i can't help it i boot she's black right i gotta mm-hmm. root for her because she's black mm-hmm. but when she said that line antoine she said that you know i'm glad i married up you took a black card thing yeah that's no, a I, 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 you just put her in candace owens uh yeah I, it, it it it, it really it, it really hurt my soul for her to say that man Candace Owens. Wow. <laughs> oh. Candace Owens. No. So, so, so I wanna I wanna I wanna dive in. What does that really mean to marry up? What do you what do you when you when you hear that, what do you say to yourself? Like what does that mean to you? Subscribe for the very latest. Play it, daddy. I'ma say this relative because I, I I'm gonna give some more of my story to it. So marrying up. And I'm surprised that in that situation, that's wild for somebody to see that. Right. But, you know, it's really the people that are insecure within themselves or insecure about their marriage or insecure about their partner. Or it's usually somebody from the outside looking in and they married up. So, mm. I, I, fun fact, uh, some people will say that about my lifestyle, about me, my wife. You know, she's in a. She grew up in a in an established family. Like I said, they've been in the industry for quite some time, and mm. their lifestyle is completely different. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, if you knew me a little bit when I you knew me, you see my growth. My growth looked different. You know, have you known me when I was younger to mm. where I'm at now? You know, I'm kind of a self made individual versus somebody that's been polished already. Mm. So, you would hear he, he's marrying up in that concept. So, mm. I think that. Um, I think that's for people trying to throw throw dirt around when you say mm. that. Um, as far as speaking towards the insecurity, that means that you're hoping somebody else is going to fix your, is going to compensate for your lack, wherever mm. that is. Mm. 
that's my approach towards it when we're talking about marrying up it's an insecurity so that girl probably said i'm probably terrible with counting or terrible with money i can't do arithmetic or whatever and she probably said it to that too mm. but marrying up i think that's relative as well too because you ain't always gonna be up mm. you ain't always gonna whoever that is Whoever that is, whether you Elon Very Musk true. or whoever, you are never up always. Mm. In fact, so you're gonna go true. through ebbs and flows. You're gonna go through it. So there is no such thing as 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 marrying up in my in my opinion because you don't know what happens in closed doors. You don't know you know the breakdowns, the crimes, the frustrations, the throwing fists in the air. You know all those things happen, and you don't know that's what happened. You don't know what's happening behind closed doors. So you don't. You only see you only get to see from the outside looking in, and that's why you right. get the couple of marrying up. So I'm not a uh, I'm not a fan of that that mm. word, a fan of that saying. Cause, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, 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 you know, as a black man, I ain't gonna lie, I was I was hurt. You know, um, anybody, any, I think, any, I think that any black man listening to that would feel hurt because when you was telling me about it. I felt hurt. So, yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So is she referring to the the cultural standpoint of things or just pretty financial? So if well, you just walked out, like, he could have, well, now my, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll retract that because I think the context of the amazing race where you don't know what their financial right. background well, is. Let, so. let, right, let, me, so let me let me let me give you a little bit more. So their particular them being on the show mm-hmm. was basically for them to see into that people have people see interracial relationships in a different light. Okay. Gotcha. Now their her mom ain't having it. She don't like them. She might. I'm sure she's old school, you know, and I'm sure she 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 come she probably coming from the south somewhere. She ain't playing that. She don't like him because he white. Period. So <laughs> I'm just saying this is what this is. She said this. She said that she she said that the family doesn't like him because he's white. It's not right for people to judge people just off the base of their color, of their skin, and to see him as a person you know as a good person and not just a white person right I'm, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm saying this loosely but this is basically what she was saying but when you say things like I'm marrying up now keep in mind when I when I when I when I you know because I, I like I like to I like to choose size and, and root for people I'm not just I'm not just rooting for white for black people i'm also rooting for white people as well right based off personalities you know because some some of the people be saying some crazy stuff i'd be like now nah, that's racist yeah you know i mean mm. but but based off personality some of these people are, are nice people right they're great people um but that particular statement kind of that 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 i was like oh man you know nice she was i think she was miss america I want to. I want to say she was like Miss Universe, Miss mm. America, one of them. She was, you know, um, but yeah, that basically that's 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 the gist of what that hurt their being on that show was about. I'm a well question. Oh, go ahead, Chuck. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. All right, Lord. All right. So <laughs> I I am not. So, yes, it's it's hurt. But am I surprised in this climate? Now, now here's the thing, though. This episode, this this episode ain't 2023, 2021. It might have been. Well, it ain't too far. It might have been like around maybe 2014, somewhere, maybe 12, somewhere in there. So it ain't now, now, but it ain't too far from now. So I, I okay, so. So it's it's now been, you know, widely regarded that women in general are hypergamous. Or it's one, two, 
either marry somebody in their same class or preferably hire them. So socially or social economically, right? So if they have the opportunity where they say, well, if I'm in this kind of social bracket and in financial bracket, if I meet somebody else who is now I prefer not to be at the same level, but they are slightly higher or even dramatically higher, then that's a win for them. So that's where they come up with that term, marrying up. I am I am moving from one stage class to another class. So it's a, it's a represent security for them. Um, so that that's the that's the thing. Now sometimes you know there's I think it gets very nuanced because there's trade offs with that. Because once you start to you know, for women, they go up that the further you go up the, the, the food chain, what are you willing to give up? Because you can't have it all. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because these, these, these guys that making, you know, I call that 1% group that's clearing 250K and up, they, they expect a lot. And sometimes it, it, it gets it get dicey. And some, some women can handle it, some women can't. But generally speaking, I think that's the where that kind of um, context around that term is married up say I, I want to be somebody who is either at my same level or higher um, so, and like, some of the women are have a very practical approach with that because they are you know giving something in return some of them would just want to be hey I just need a retirement plan man. I'm tired of working <laughs> I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to cash in you know while I got it you know what I'm saying if they if they out here where they're you know I call it when their market is hot they say listen if I can find me a dude who can take me as I am and, 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 and get me closer to the end game by all means I will sign up for it so hey it's it's crazy, bro. It, hey, it, bro. It is speak. All right, so speaking of marrying up, so I'm, 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 I'm going to bring another couple into this. I think they fit in this situation. Who? Who? Marcus Jordan. No. no. <laughs> I don't think that's marrying up, dog. No, no, no. Oh, 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 hold on, but let, let me break this down a little bit, man. You got to add a lot of sauce on this one, bro. I'm, no, I'm, listen, I'm listen, to what I'm, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Man. Okay. okay. So, what's 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 her name? Larsa? Larsa Pippen, right? Pippen. All right. So, Larsa Pippen married to Scotty Pippen, right? Now, now, hey, Scotty's probably good. Right, Scott. Scotty's good with money. Good, good money, right? He ain't broke. He probably ain't broke, right? He, he, he probably doing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He aight, right? Yeah. He should have had an inch one in the beginning, but we're gonna keep right. going. <laughs> so, 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 listen to what I'm about to say. So, lost a, lost a met, met, I'm, I'm, I, hey, Let me just put let me put the let me put the stamp on this. This is all alleged, right? But this is my. This is what I feel like happened. So, so Lawson married Pippen around 1997, right? Pippen making mm-hmm. good money. He in the NBA. He in the NBA. He making good money. So you know, Lawson lost out of all the games. You know, everybody know Jordan the man. Michael Jordan's the man, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So Lawson probably said. You know, she, hey, you know, Jordan's cheating on his wife, Juanita, allegedly. Hey, I might be able to slide in there, right? You know, hey, could Mike Jordan's the man. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to branch over. You know, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan probably was like, you know what? Nah, that's my man. I, my, that's my man, Pippen. I ain't doing that, right? So, you know what Lawson said? You know what? I. She waited some years later. Divorced Pippin. Divorced Pippin, right? That's what she did. Right. She waited some years later. She divorced Pippin. Yeah, I, I can't get jiggy with this. What? What is this? I can't. This divorce ain't giving me nothing. 
what am, what am I doing with this? She said, man, I need to give her that Jordan. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the sun. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get the sun. You know why? Because Jordan's, Jordan's a billionaire. But you know what? Jordan's going to be gone one day. <laughs> The yeah, logic. She is. <laughs> the logic. Right. Hey, right. The logic. Right. But but <laughs> but Jordan, that that's the that's the best thing that I can get to get to the billion, the billions. I'ma marry the son. I'ma marry up. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know why, Antoine? You know why that is work. Because in, in her no, you know, no, no. Women like her don't work. They play it. They strategize and work. trap men, that's and they skin. get the money different way. But Tino, you know, that's, that's work. Damn. That is work. If you look at it, that's work. That is work. That's it work. Is work. work. Now, now I'm, I'm yeah. gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what what, 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 what gets crazy and what people not really seeing. Also, not only that she got Marcus Pippen. She got Scotty Pippen Jr. She got the lineage of the, the best Bulls players ever. Right? <laughs> so you mean to tell me is Scotty Pippen Jr. in the NBA? Barely. Barely. I'm barely. But he's a Pippen. <laughs> and I'm connected to that Pippen lineage. That's all that and matters. I'm the and Pippen I'm connected to the matters. Jordan lineage. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, listen, the Kardashians are standing up and applauding this chick. <laughs> because, th I, I, listen, this is the best, the best, most scandalous chick I've ever seen do this. I just, I just seen, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh allegedly allegedly legend oh no but she's done this though. <laughs> she's done but she, but is it that she, she listen we we know but was we it know calculated she, did she calculate did she calculate me do it i don't know she I'll, you, I'll, tell, I'll, you tell me you so you think you think <laughs> that he you think that she did not pick marcus jordan because of the money do you think that oh you just think that they're really in love let's really let's wake it up allegedly oh. Allegedly, oh, we, allegedly, here we go. Hey, <laughs> hey, that, listen, listen, man, listen. How, how, how old? Okay, so Mark is how old? How old is Mark? Mark is thirty-two. Mm -hmm. I think thirty-two. Is she, yeah, okay. she about fifty-seven, maybe fifty. You think about this. You think about this, y'all. Larsa was married to Scotty in ninety-seven. Forty-nine. She forty-nine. She's 49, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. that, mean, that means that Marcus was a kid in the locker room. Right. Right. That's so a fact. She, mm -hmm. she, done held, she done held Marcus at one point in time and then waited the decades later to spin the block and say, you know what? This is a good idea to date him. And you, and you think you think it's not calculated? You crazy. You gotta be crazy. Dog. This is this is this is this is the. Most I think scandalous. it's calculated. Me personally, I think it. I think it's calculated. But I mean, where's your proof? You got. She's gonna say, you know, no, I didn't. I love this man. She, I don't, listen, I don't think, there's listen, there's I don't others think, there's others out there like him. There's others out there like her. Listen, I think I think it's. But wait, think, let me, let me get this out real quick. Okay, is I that not you. teaching our society today to to marry up? So I mean that's that's taught throughout society. Can so can you blame them? Like they people have to marry up. I mean, look at me. I mean, that's I'll flip word, I'll flip it on this side. It's kind of going back to the to the first part we were talking about. Our I mean the vice president. She's not married to a, somebody black. Um, the um the. The uh the Supreme Court judge, she's not married to a, a black spouse. So I mean, this is being pushed in front of your limelight to, you know, marry up. They're not, I mean, what can you say? Because they wouldn't have gotten in those positions if they wasn't married to uh, another race. That's all I'm saying. So it's pushed in front of our, our faces like that. 
yeah, that's 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 true. I think that with those two examples, I think it gets very uh, and you you can actually start to hear in, in in different spaces on social media. The higher a female goes up the food chain, their their pool gets small, mm-hmm. real small, mm-hmm. it's because. The men that they want to actually be dating at that same level are looking somewhere else. They're not looking at them. Mm-hmm. So they like that's why you hear a conversation, man. I can't find no good man. This is like, no, you looking for a man that if you make a five hundred K, you looking for a man that's making five hundred K above. But the man that's making five hundred K looking for a, 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 a totally different package than you presenting. So they yeah, it, somebody with money too. Well, not necessarily money, but men with that. I'm, 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 well, men at that level are looking for something totally different. So, like, like men and women approach dating differently, and we're looking for different things, and there's trade offs with it. So that's why sometimes, yeah, yeah you got you got to deal yeah. with a lot, yeah. So but other stuff, but, yeah. but other stuff, but but I'm just going back to my my original point is that I know it's a double standard because if this if this was flip flop, it'd be a, it'd be trash. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Like, you think about you think about a man who who held a, a, a baby girl and then come back and date her right. 30, 30 some years later? Right. Oh, oh yeah, that did. They would have right. gotten canceled right. in this day. Yeah, he he was was jail. Jail. That man in jail. I feel bad. Right. I feel bad. I feel bad for Pippen on multiple levels. Pippen can't. He can't catch a break. This joker that he thought he was going. You know, he was on ESPN trying to get his little money up. Then the last thing has come out. Then they took Diggs to that, and then future come out and talk about he was messing with Larson Pippen some Gucci flip flops like it that that added on to that and now she took half the picture. Listen, listen, Chuck, Chuck, don't feel bad for Pippen because I'm gonna tell you straight up. I'm gonna tell you straight up. Why listen, not? listen, listen. Years ago, my, my wife, my wife, my wife works. She worked in retail, right? Years ago, Pippen comes into the store. Why he's married to Larson? He's trying to bag the chick in Victoria's Secret. He's trying to bag. <laughs> she she can see him. She can see him over there. She can she can see him. Like so, me and my wife went over to the girl and was like, "Oh, that was Scotty Pippen. Yeah, he wanted. He was trying. He was trying to. He was trying to get me to come to one of his games." She was a like, word. Like how many tickets? Oh no! It's just gonna be me and him, <laughs> and and he wanted me to come in the, in the skybox and sit with him. I told him I was married, but he was just like, you know, he just wanted to be me and him, <laughs> right? So what I'm saying is that he out there skeeting and cheating too. The only problem, the only thing that's happening here. Is that his wife is more strategic than him? Yeah. He out there laying yeah. it down everywhere else. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna go up. I'm, I'm, I ain't making no ladder move though. I'm gonna bypass hmm. the young men, and that that's coming up. I'm gonna go to that old money and make it less. Okay. Now, now. So we're making an assumption that George Knight is leaving his money to his son. Listen, listen. There's no way. There's no way that Jordan, that that Michael Jordan. Well, we are leave, we are leaving that assumption. But there's here's the thing. He's still a Jordan. Here's what you're missing too. It's not always about the money. It's all, sometimes it's about the bloodline. As long as you're married to a Jordan, the bloodline is still there. I'm connected to a billionaire's son. Y'all gotta understand that that melanin that we got. Let me not go there. Because it because people take out. We, here's the thing. You know, women say, "Oh, well, you know, hey, I, you know, I got to, you know, I just can't be giving my stuff away." What happens is that sometimes we give out, we giving out, we giving our power away. That, that this melanin is, is 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 way more stronger than you think it is. Mm-hmm. 
you understand what i'm saying like they 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 may treat us like we trash but this melanin is worth gold i don't care what they say so sometimes sometimes it's not about the money but it's the fact that i might have another son about this man and What's now i got michael tag? jordan's i got michael jordan's grandson or granddaughter hope they hoping it's a son you you want this is what the, these are the games they play see you in your mind you probably thinking like yo this don't make no sense but tina also you gotta look at it in the in the history books she'll be categorized as one of the most calculated women ever yo i i listen <laughs> the, I, well that's what that says those kardashians is looking at this woman like yo that chick is the bar now she's the bar because it, it, it's going it, listen it's going to be years before they find out what she did hey she she put that she put that old she put that old lady game on him i know she did i know she did. But here's, here's, <laughs> hey antoine chuck Shrem, here's the thing she ain't even bad but you're not like she bad like bad bad she ain't like my you know she ain't she ain't demeaning with my you know like she 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 ain't bad like you know like ll said <laughs> she she bad like you go look it up in the dictionary bad <laughs> she ain't bad she look she she does not look attractive like when i look at kim i said you know what i can understand <laughs> what you, you saying? She look like a saying? foot or something? She she definitely like she was hit with a bag of groceries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like she definitely looking bad on these streets. But you know, like I mean, you know, some it's, it's just, to me she's just not my type. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to risk it all, you got to risk it. But uh, but. Yeah. But 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 like Chuck says, she probably she probably hit it with that. She probably hit it with that logic, like, oh man, you know, we can be we can be this, it could be that. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 I think and, yeah. and, I don't know. I don't know. Crazy. I think Marcus, I think Marcus, I think Marcus was out here just, you know, living life and she was like, Let me see what his, his you know, she just probably reached out to him, you know, saying, like, you know, I'm just checking in on you. And she probably started doing her little, you know, private investigation on him, and then she was like Oh yeah, he don't, he don't, he don't get really dating like that. He don't, he don't, his, his, his caliber. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I got a, I got an angle. I got an angle I can hit him with, and then, and it's over. It's she hit him with angles work. She hit him with angles work. She hit him with that Randy Savage pop rope, mm-hmm. and it was yeah. old. <laughs> she hit him with that wop. But, but see, but here's what y'all don't understand. But here's the, but here's the thing. 32 and 49 ain't that too far from each other though they ain't, too, they ain't too far it's far but it ain't grand like she ain't like she grandma but but i think it's two different stages in your life like 32 like he just figured out who he was probably about no right. later than five years ago she got him on time though antoine you know that you do it she got him right on time that's the angle <laughs> Right on time, you know what I'm saying? But once again, 49, like you said, 17. But it ain't, it, 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 it ain't too far. It ain't like she, you know what I'm saying? Their, their generation, like I would say, like a generation or two. But it's she's 49. She ain't 72. She ain't. She ain't even. She she ain't even 55 or 60 yet, right? So she right at that age where she can brainwash him. You know what I'm saying? But the late yeah, tour, yeah. I'm a little That's bit. True. You know what I'm saying? She's so, been around a little bit. But, but I'm not a, listen, I, and I'm not and I'm not a chatty patty. Listen, I'm not a chatty patty. I ain't trying, <laughs> I ain't trying to gossip. But what I am saying though is that y'all gotta watch, gotta watch ourselves, man. The the main the, the main thing is is I, I I'm my personal opinion. Right, I you know, 
you know, Mar- Marcus could be at a, at a, at a, at a weak mental part of the, you know, he, he's a, he's a star son that really didn't live up to the hype of what a Michael Jordan, because he played basketball. Yep. He did. Mm. Yeah, he did. But he didn't, he didn't live up to the hype of a Jordan, right? So that's tough. That's tough mm-hmm. on a kid. Tough on, mm-hmm. on, on a young man, right? When you follow it in your father's footsteps yes. a little bit. Yeah, he so, probably never left. He probably never lived that life. So then he don't know about the traps that come your way when you get to that life. So he right, up. right, man. But I, yeah. hey, I just want to tap on that to that real quick, man. I appreciate you you sticking in there, but you know, sticking out there with us, man. Because yeah, um, I, you know, I think that the things we talked about was 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 needed. You know, yeah. it may not be the most sexiest clickbait out there um but i feel like it definitely was needed what up Chuck? i got i got it i got a question my hands well since we were talking about scotty Pippen, you think he should have set up a trust so he so she ain't paid the, the pension you, what, what would it be she took the pension yeah she took the pension. yeah you run mm. that you run that with the trust you don't want to you want to run the, mm. i'm telling you you want to run all your businesses and everything set up for your trust Bruh. Full circle. Pension, yeah, because you put your business so you can run the business, your company, everything's in the trust. And then mm-hmm. you're just an employee of the uh the company and the company's paying you. So she can't sue the company, she can sue you. Unless you say your net on paper, you it's you can say your net worth is whatever the salary is. But you own that's the company. That's dope. But you that's own what the that's company. Dope. everything. That's what yeah, yeah, that's what that soccer player did. He yeah. put all his money in a trust that was technically governed by his mom. So exactly. when, they, when his wife tried to sue him, he said, I ain't got I ain't got about ten grand in my name. Exactly. So all you mm-hmm. gonna get is off of that, and you could say that you could you can make that number look like whatever. So you have control of it. I'm telling you, a trust is a very powerful thing. Mm-hmm. There's a uh, message. The owner message of. The owner, he's no longer the CEO of um, Chick Fil A, but mm-hmm. he did an interview. And he was talking about family and how the trust works and how to continuously put the generation, like mm-hmm. how to project the next generation, how to build the trust, how to revamp the trust, who gets access to the trust, and what conditions they have to follow in order to get. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's you know. dope. I like that, man. Oh no, nah, definitely, man. This is this was awesome. Hey. Fast, appreciate it. This is awesome, man. I, I pray that I pray that we that that you know, educating people is not the sexiest thing to do. Well, let me say this: to try to wake people up is not the sexiest thing to do on YouTube or any other platform. It's tough. Sometimes it bite. Some people. Sometimes people, uh, you know, will bite. Some people don't. You know, they're too brainwashed out here. Um, but I hope you guys were listening. I, I, I pray that Antoine, you know, his information he gave you guys was 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 something that you could take. Um, hit him up. You know, we're gonna put you know you can put your Instagram and everything out there and what you want the people to reach out to you on. Um, yeah, let them let them know where, where they can they can talk to you. Yeah, they can find me on uh, Instagram. We'll go for Instagram and it's AMC Showtime and then there's an underscore. Yeah, AMC Showtime okay. underscore. Uh, we do that, and then you can just DM me. We can talk through there. If you got questions, we'll set up appointment. We can do. I, I prefer to do a personal call. So this way, you mm. know, you know, everybody's funny about their money. So I'm pretty sure you don't want me talking about it, and I got documentation on it. So we can talk about it through in person. Hey, we can meet in person. Right. I got mm. no problem. With it. I, I prefer to be in person because it gives. You know, for one, I'm telling you what to do with your money. You got to trust me. I'd rather right. you trust mm-hmm. me. We do this together, copacetic, versus, you know, me trying to pull you and saying you got to do it. Right. And I, I and I just like the way you got it set up because they're within what you do is different products and services. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, not one time you mentioned any type of uh, thing where you trying to, you know, some type of, you know, Ponzi, you know, mm-hmm. you know yeah. any type of thing where we kind of, you know, hey, come in and you recruit this person. You didn't mention none of that, but it seemed like to me you just want to help. 
you know it seems like you know something that 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 you know somebody who's building a family should be interested in or just trying to you know build wealth yeah you know so definitely appreciate it man so, um, legacy yep. yeah that's what we all about legacy man legacy um but yeah man see hey man trim always bring the best he, he always bring us the best guests man he always brings <laughs> the best guests, man yeah man uh but yeah shout out to everybody listening man shout out hey shout out to hempstead hometown i love y'all um yeah man anything y'all got y'all got anything else to say oh um, uh, it's been a great season fam yeah we got listen we got one more we got one more you know we got one more episode we're gonna close oh, it my out bad. My bad. yeah we got one more yeah one we, more. we, we, we normally end it without the season yeah it's, 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 then you know like I said, y'all, y'all, y'all won't recognize me going. I promise you that. We'll probably be hanging out with still more content. Um, but, hey, man, before I go, man, listen, just, hey, listen, for me, me keep keep God first. You know, I, I, I ain't, listen, I ain't nobody without prayer. I promise you that. I ain't nobody without prayer. Nobody. Because y'all knew me. Y'all knew me back, back in... 2000 90 the 90 i ain't nowhere near what i am right now i promise you that y'all guys keep god first out there you know what i'm saying um, yep. yep all right we out this thing man it's the call room easy